Hey, Ben here with you for Studio on the Lake. This is number three of the Signature Loon. Not going to be a whole lot of talking in here. Uh, mostly painting. You guys finally get to see me paint after saying that I would paint several times. That's what it's going to look like when it's all done. If you remember, it started uh, with the head video. Then we went on, and uh, part two was the body and the carving of the body, uh, the burning and the stoning of the feathers that went along with that. that I'm going to use today is uh, the same paint that I always use. It's a uh, Josonia acrylic paint. And it, it's fairly translucent. It goes on in several different washes. But what you see here is uh, I'm making black. I don't buy black because I don't like the color. It looks strange to me. So I make black. That's a little bit of paint. Some gray, some blue, and burnt umber. And then be a, I'll put a touch of red in there. Until I mix that up until I get the shade that I want. I, I guess it's more of a gray uh, black. I don't use, uh, I don't put gesso on these anymore. I used to in the old days. And I kind of gave that up. I didn't see any benefit uh, to it. And, and in a lot of cases, the, if I put a really light wash, in this case, this is going on pretty thick as a paste, more or less. And uh, the goal is to cover it in one, one uh, pass, as opposed to having to repaint over it. But the one thing that you'll, you'll notice, I speeded everything up on the painting, mostly because there's nothing worse than watching people paint on something this size for four hours, but uh, you see me dipping into the water bucket there, and that's just to get this thin enough that it, it flows into the cracks and the, the burning marks and the stone marks and uh, reads through that. of note in this portion right here if if I'm running a little bit thinner wash you can see the burn marks through the uh, paint and on some things I'll just do a really light wash and the the burn marks go ahead and highlight Here you can see how it's flowing down in there and, I, and how thick I put it on. You can see here on the head, I'll come back with some water here and thin that all out. But uh, it gives you a good example of, of 
how it all goes together and what it looks like after. There is no burning on the front there. That's just all, all stonework. You see, you can get the feather uh, shape without burning it. And patience. Here's some of the wildlife at the feeder. The blue jays are primarily taking the peanuts. They like the peanuts and they take those before the squirrels can get them. It's just a sunflower mix. Here you can see that the squirrels have gotten the lid off of the seed can and ironically enough, like the blue jays, they're stealing the peanuts out of there and leaving the sunflower seeds. You'll, you've noticed earlier that I paint over the eyes and here I'm, I'm scraping the paint off. It scrapes right off so you can continue to paint over them. They're glass eyes. Uh, a knife or a palette knife doesn't scratch them. This color of paint it, it goes on in two applications actually and I'm, I'm not going to show you the second one. You'll get to see the, the full first one. And it is uh, unbleached titanium white which uh, comes out more of almost an eggshell color but it, it's not bright. I like to paint this on first and then I'll come back with a uh, pure titanium white over top of that highlight and it gives it kind of a, a little bit of depth and some character in there. And once again, I, I won't sh make you watch me paint this thing twice, which is basically what I did. Painted it once with the unbleached titanium white, and then uh, I'll come back later on and uh, paint or highlight across with uh, regular titanium white.
This loon's not going anywhere. It's not a commission piece. Uh, no one's stacked up waiting for loons just now. So if you are interested in this loon, go ahead and send me an email or leave a comment and uh, I'll get back. The bill is, I painted uh, Payne's gray over the bill and then I wiped it off, came back with a, a mixture of black to take away, uh, dim it down a little bit, I guess, for lack of better reference. You'll, you'll see on the, the head there that I, I put a couple of green highlights in. You can go ahead and put some magentas and some greens in there if you get to looking at up close photographs of loons. They have several colors on their head, iridescent colors. In this case, I only put a little bit of phthalo, phthalo green on the uh, head in a very, very light wash. The light has to hit it just right for you to see it. Here's uh, where I was talking about coming back over with the titanium white. Getting ready to start all over again and paint everything I painted in the last couple hours. And there you have it. There's the uh, last of the signature loon. Here in early January, that's what it looks like outside. The lake is uh, frozen. We've got about three feet of snow with another foot or two projected in the weekend. There's an old loon in the background. There's a pair of loons. That's the one that I keep, I like. And then here's the one that was just finished in the foreground. Hey, thanks for watching. This is Ben with Studio on the Lake. And uh, of note, for those of you that are watching, this loon wasn't a commission carving. I don't have anywhere for this loon to go so if you are interested in it leave me a comment or better yet go to my email studio on the lake 88 at gmail.com that'll be down in the description there and I'll tell you how much this loon costs and it could be yours <laughs>